Hey guys, how's it going? Apex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect and use a PlayStation 4 controller with your Windows-based PC. Now, the great thing about this method is that you should be able to use your controller both wirelessly and whilst connected via USB, provided you have a dongle. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using the controller simply while it's connected to my PC. Anyway, start off by clicking the first link in the description, which will take you to the download page of the DS4 Windows software. Once you've downloaded the, the zip file that's hosted on the website, Web page, head over to your downloads folder and use a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the folder. Now before we open up any file from this folder, we're going to plug our PS4 controller into our PC via the mini USB cable that comes with the controller. If you don't have the default one lying around, any other mini USB cable should work such as the one that, that comes with your phone. Anyway, once you've done that, open up ds4windows.exe. And from here you can pick where you want the settings and profiles of the controller to be saved. I'm going to select my programs folder. And under the controllers tab here, we can see that we have an ID, the status which shows that it's connected via USB, the battery, and the default uh, profile. And if your controller at this point is not actually properly working with your PC, you can go to the settings tab over here and then you can click on controller slash driver setup and you can follow the instructions that are on the screen such as installing the DS4 driver and if you're on Windows 7 or below you're also going to need to install the 360 driver and then you can just finish that now if you want to adjust your controller preferences for things like the controller LED color or vibration, vi vibration strength or the controllers mapping simply go to the selected profile section under the controllers tab which is right here and instead of default click on new profile and from here you have any and all preferences you might want to tweak with your ps4 controller and you can change things like your rgb lighting and it's all reflected on the little map here Anyway, that's about it. From this point on, you should be able to use your controller with your Windows computer. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to stay tuned for more high-quality tech content as I upload one to two videos a week with a guaranteed upload every Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.